ready? Yep. Rolling. All right, guys, this is the driving video for our 1989 Mercedes-Benz 560SL. This is such a clean example. Um, having only 44,600 miles, it is like in great shape. Gorgeous paint, this nice tan interior. It's kind of like a tan beige. Super cool. Um, the car drives awesome. We'll kind of get on a little bit for you. We did take the hard top off just for shooting, so it's not on right now. Um, so you might hear a little bit more cabin noise. Um, but uh, yeah. These cars are absolutely so nice. You really do feel like you're, you're kind of driving a, a time capsule a little bit. Um, being an 89, it is the last generation that they produced these cars, um, which makes it pretty special. It's a 5.6 liter, it's a 560SL. I don't know if I said 580, it's a 560. Um, 5.6 liter V8, making, I don't know how much horsepower, but that doesn't really matter is the truth. If you're not buying this car for horsepower, I'll tell you that much. Um, the radio works. We'll turn that off. Nobody really cares. Um, get on the brakes. Brakes work great. Turning over here. Um, what else can I show you? AC's on right now. It's blowing pretty cold. It's a nice hot day out here. Um, and yeah, we'll get on it for you a little bit. It's not a high performance sports car by any means. It is very much so in all senses of the word. Sunday Cruiser. This is what that car is. It's just like you just drive it. It's a cruiser. Um, you do have power windows, which is nice. Um, even my 98, which is 10 years, 98 were cheap. That's 10 years, uh, 10 years newer than this thing. It doesn't have power windows, which is a huge bonus. Um, we'll get on it. That's 3,500 RPM, 45, we're at 50 now. And it's not like, Listen, I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys it's like a tight sports car because it's not. It's smushy, it's soft, exactly as you want the 560 to be. Uh, drives straight as an arrow. And yeah, these cars are awesome. Can't really complain. Not really much to show you. What I will do is I'll take this on that twisty road so you can kind of just see what it is capable of. I won't push it too hard, but you'll, you'll, get, a, you'll get a good feel. And then we'll head on back. Um, I think there's a quirk about this car which has two, like a dual tone horn, I think. Yeah, which is pretty nice. Brings you back to the 80s for sure. Um, and yeah, again, very soft, very smushy, which is exactly what you want in a car like this. Shifts well, as you'd expect it to. Low mileage like this, it's like nothing that can go wrong has gone wrong and anything that needs to be done has been done it's like the happy medium um what else put this on rest down chilling out brakes work beautifully we're taking this corner and listen it's not like it's uh dangerous it's just not tight Again, how it's meant to drive. With the blinker here, you do have cruise control, which is pretty cool for part of this age. Take on a, uh, take it on a road trip if you want. I don't know if I would, but probably could. Not probably, definitely could. I just don't think uh, we have the space for all my luggage. Is the truth. But yeah, either way, you get the sense. My seat is making a little bit of squeaking right now. I think it's because I didn't have it set properly. It's like squeaking up against the seat belt, but that's fine. Straightforward. I don't know if this is, I think the other one we had didn't have this gauge here, which is interesting, but it's pretty cool. Turn around up here. No one coming.
the fact that it has a uh, color matched hardtop is such a bonus. I think these cars look way better with the hardtop on, in my own opinion. But uh, I also would love to drive with the top down on the weekends. No complaints from me. Either way, uh, I think this is going to conclude our driving video. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the auction.